Okay, here we go. So now, okay, everything's all hooked up here too, though. So I'm just trying to start. You see, it will start by itself. The way it is. Okay, whatever, here, everything's the same. I'm just gonna splice some videos together. Cause the last run I had it running on these 12 volt batteries, the same, but it was these two coils and these two coils were the only ones that were running the motor. And the outputs from, uh, these two coils are charging or powering that light bulb from a microwave oven. It's a 120 volt light bulb. And the power from these two coils are charging these batteries. That was in the last video. And I'll splice it to this one here. You should have already watched it. But already, now I have. I think it's these two coils and these two coils are in series, all four of them, and they are run off of this battery, 12 volt battery, and it is charging. The output goes to this microwave light bulb, and these two coils and these two coils are in series. All four of them and they're running off of these ones which are charging this battery but we'll leave it here now because it's gonna start the scope everything is hooked up let's see it just started so now that there's more resistance on the motor you can see it's using quite a bit less power right this one's 7.9 watts going in. This one's 11.7. There's the battery that's being charged. Four watts or so going into it. And that's coming from this, what is it now, 10 watts or so? 7.9. There's 7.9 going in and there's 4 coming out. This scope is hooked up to the output of the light bulb here. Well, the coils that are charging the light bulb. And that is running at 11.6 watts going in. Here's the frequency of the motor. It's 320 hertz. With it running on just the four coils, it was uh, 440 hertz. So it has slowed down quite a bit, but it's also using less power now. It's just a benchmark video to show the differences. So your output power is always based on how much power is actually going into the motor. But I also want to show how much fucking torque these things have and how hard they are to stop. I will torque this thing right down to where it wants to stall. So it's 40 watts almost on this one. That one. You see, it's still it has power. There's torque in these motors. See, it's just going to speed up. You see, it's shredding it. The amount 
the power to turn these motors you can see. I'm pushing down hard. Let me see how much it wore out. And it'll keep giving torque at these low, low RPMs. I like to see a Bedini motor do that. I'm pretty sure a Newman motor can go, but not a Bedini. Not with all the magnets facing out one way. But I just wanted to show that documentary. So now if I run this on 24 volts going in the power and that motor will be insane and it'll be charging a lot. Another quick thing too will show. Everything's been running for a while, like this here. They're both being charged. I've adjusted the timing a bit, that's why this one's, they're both using a little bit less power now. And they're not charging as hard. Let's see here, I'm going to load the rotor down now. And I'll watch the power on the, on the charging side of things. The output power goes up as you load the rotor down. That's a lot of power. Look at it shred this. It takes a lot of power to stop it. Look at that. There's plastic everywhere. It will run both directions and just leaving it like that. It's going the opposite way and it will start. Or it does that. Just let it go like that. That's all it takes to start it. See, it takes about, this one here is about 10 watts, I think. That one's just around the 4 watts, 4 point some, because the impedance is different in these coils. But you can see it's only charging a little bit, so I'm going to retard the timing.
she's using more power now. She's using 13 watts, this one's using 16. But now it charges more. Four, seven. And the rotor doesn't have as much power though. It's not even close. Under total load, it uses less power. It's not charging at all. So now I'll let it speed up and then I'll re put the timing advanced. less power, charge less, but the rotor itself has way more power. And it'll keep charging no matter what. 